So if you know me, you'll know that I do indeed love rhythm games. It's been a passion of mine since I was a little kid. I love Guitar Hero. I love Donkey Konga. I love rhythm games. And recently, and by recently I mean like a year ago, not that recent, I've started playing a new rhythm game. That rhythm game is called Muse Dash. Uh, disclaimer, I'm not going to be doing a whole review of this game. Obviously, if I've shipped in a $100 collector's edition of the game, I like it. But I feel like it'll be important to talk about it a little bit for the video, so here we go. Honestly, Muse Dash is quite a simplistic rhythm game. There's only two lanes to worry about. It more focuses on fun songs, vibrant colors, and cute-ass anime girls. Hell yeah. So if you're into electronic... Uh, Vocaloid. I'm not exactly sure on the genres or how to describe them. Basically, if you like that cute, bubbly, wubbly, electro pop shit, you're gonna love this game. With that being said, let's get to the fun part, shall we? So the Switch release of this game is actually the first physical release of the game. Uh, and that's because this started out as a mobile game. But the game's been doing so well that over in uh, China, and I think Japan, could be wrong on that, don't, don't quote me on it, the game got a physical release. And there's two versions, the normal, which is just the game, and collector edition, which is what we have here. The collector's edition comes with, honestly, a decent amount of fun little goodies with it. So the first thing to notice is the box. This thing looks really cool. It's presented very well. Everything's layered on top of each other. It's got the little slip-off top. It's pretty neat. The first item in the box is, of course, the mini soundtrack, which is honestly a cool little soundtrack, but man, there's uh, there's some spelling errors on mine. I've also noticed when listening back to the album that for some reason, some of the songs are quieter than others. And I'm not talking about like a couple decibels. We're talking like, like my computer's at 20 and then one song's blasting and then the, you know, the next song is like really quiet. I'm not exactly sure what all is about that but the disc itself is presented very well. It's got this little trifold going on. The disc looks cool. It's got some really neat artwork that I haven't even seen before of the characters all over it. It's a cool album nonetheless. Next up in the box is of course, the game. The game box looks and feels like every other Switch game. I will say though, being a Chinese game, you would think that I wouldn't be able to read anything, right? Um, but the game actually defaults to English when you put it in an English Switch, so. That's a pretty neat bonus. I didn't know if I would be able to read what was going on in the game. I've already, it's a pretty simple game. You don't actually need to know what the menus say once you've played through it a few times, but that's pretty neat. We also get some decorative stickers for the Switch console. These stickers go on the Switch, the Switch dock, uh, both sides of the dock, um, the Joy-Con, but only the front of the Joy-Con. It also has one of the little sticker pads for the, uh, the little Joy-Con controller that you slide the Joy-Con into. Pretty neat. The sticker quality-wise actually feels pretty thick. I, I don't know if that's just because of the paper that it's printed on, but um, they feel like pretty solid stickers. I'm pretty, pretty impressed for stickers. The last thing that this collector's edition comes with is, of course, the kickstand. Now you would think, Zach, why, the, why does it come with a kickstand? This Switch has a kickstand on it. Well, not every model of the Switch does. Uh, the Switch lights don't. And, you know, it's a fun little inclusion. Maybe you don't want to use the horrible kickstand on the Switch. Right off the bat, you can see it matches the color scheme of the game very well. It's got the one of the logos, and it's got a bunch of little cute enemies that you fight in the game, too. So, pretty neat. Something I noticed after I played around with this for a little bit, the inside of the kickstand has Switch cart slots, which means you can just carry the kickstand and the Switch with you, and you don't have to carry one of those little you know, little cases that hold games. You can just carry this. It holds seven physical games in it. You know, I think I actually only own like seven Switch games, so <laughs> this works out pretty well. This is everything that comes in the Muse Dash Collector Edition. I figured I'd do an unboxing video with some nice little B-roll, because honestly, there, there's not much being said about this online. It just came out like a week ago, so that makes sense. But I figured I'd beat everyone to the punch on it and go ahead and make a video about it. Also, quick side note, I had to ship it in from Play Asia, and I also got these cute little stickers with it, which, hey, that's a nice bonus. They also threw in a little face mask cover thing to like keep your, keep your disposable face masks sanitized, and I don't know if I'm gonna use it that much, but that's pretty cool, so thanks. I haven't really ever done an unboxing video on this channel. 
Um, it was just, it's a product I've ordered. I thought it'd be fun to make a video on it. No one else has made a video on it yet. So now you can see the Muse Dash Collector Edition in its full. You know exactly what you're getting out of the box. It does play in English perfectly well. Uh, I will say in handheld mode, the game only looks like it runs about 30 frames. That's a little rough for a rhythm game, but uh, you know, whatever. I didn't buy this because I really planned on playing Muse Dash on the Switch a lot. I bought it because I love Muse Dash. It's a great game and I want to both support the company and have some cool merchandise. So there you go. If you enjoyed this style of video, let me know. Who knows? Maybe I'll do more unboxing style things. Uh, that is not what this channel will become. This channel really doesn't have a focus at all. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that's it for this video. Now enjoy some sick B-roll of all this fancy stuff.